Niels Bohr was born in Copenhagen, Denmark, on the 7th of October 1885. He was the second of three children of Christian Bohr, a professor of physiology at the University of Copenhagen, and Ellen Adler Bohr, who came from a wealthy Danish Jewish family. Bohr was educated at Graham Hall Latin School, starting when he was seven. In 1903, Bohr enrolled as an undergraduate at Copenhagen University. His major was physics, which he studied under Professor Christian Christiansen, the university's only professor of physics at the time. Niels earned a master's degree in 1910 with his thesis on the electron theory of metals. He was now very much on his way to making his greatest contribution to science, the Bohr model. In 1913, Bohr came up with this model. Previously, experiments by Ernest Rutherford had established that atoms consisted of a cloud of negatively charged electrons surrounding a small, dense, positively charged nucleus. However, his planetary style model meant that the electrons would spiral into the nucleus as they lost energy, predicting that all atoms were unstable. Bohr further developed Rutherford's atom model. He used experimental evidence to support the idea that electrons occupy particular orbits or shells around the nucleus of an atom. The atom will be completely stable in the state with the smallest orbit since there's no orbit of lower energy which the electron can jump in. There were a few problems with the Bohr model. The two main ones were to predict multi-electron atoms, doublets, triplets, and its contradiction to the uncertainty principle. The multi-electron atoms couldn't be predicted by the model. Not even helium would work. Doublets and triplets are very close pairs, or trios of lines, and the Bohr model couldn't say why some of these energy levels are so close together. The uncertainty principle says that only certain values of R are permitted. The orbit is circular, so R will be like so. Apart from these, the Bohr model was the most comprehensive atomic model of its time, and Neil's efforts didn't go unrecognised. He received numerous honours and accolades. The most prominent of these was the Nobel Prize. However, he also received the Hughes Medal, the Matiucci Medal, the Franklin Medal, the Copley Medal, the Order of the Elephant, the Atoms for Peace Award and the Sonning Prize. This really gives you an idea of the importance of his findings. Bohr's model described most of the features of atomic theory and in turn, he opened the door to our much clearer understanding of chemistry and the start of quantum mechanics.